yesterday, uh, 6.30 in the morning, when people in Israel were uh, still sleeping, and uh, uh, during uh, an important Jewish holiday, there was a coordinated attack of the terror organization Hamas from Gaza. They uh, opened fire, massive fire, of rockets and missiles to uh, different communities, uh, civilian communities around Israel. And uh, in parallel, hundreds of uh, terrorists of Hamas infiltrated uh, different Jewish communities which are in the vicinity of the Gaza Strip. This was an unprovoked move. Uh, and now that uh, information is starting to flow in, we understand the size of the disaster. We understand the atrocities and the war crimes which were committed. They murdered, hijacked children, women, elderly. I'm sure that you saw the, the heartbreaking pictures on the social medias of whole families under, under gun, gun threat uh, being taken away from home and mistreated. Uh, the numbers that we uh, are so far uh, counting, and they will increase, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, are more than 300 uh, killed, murdered, tens of uh, missing, and some of them kidnapped missing, I should say, because some were kidnapped as bodies, some were alive. Uh, including, in all the numbers I will give you, many, uh, or quite a few foreign nationals. We don't know of Indian foreign nationals so far. We didn't get any information of, of such. There are uh, more than 1,800 uh, wounded, quite many of them in severe uh, situation. I'm sure you saw the videos. They went from house to house and just shot people from close range. The, ter the pictures are terrible. Uh, and in parallel to all of that, more than 3,500 rockets so far were fired, and, and all is still, uh, people spoke to me before, there is still activity on the ground uh, in some very small pockets that uh, very few terrorists are still there, but most of the places, the vast majority, is back under uh, full control. And uh, also the rockets are continuing. <clears throat> The terrorists are going to pay a very, very, very big price. Uh, we will do it in our pace, in our choosing, the way we want it. <clears throat> uh, I was personally, and I think all my staff and many Israelis were very much uh, heart, it was heartwarming to us to see the huge support we got here from India, from all around. Uh, starting, you know, first of all, India, like Israel, knows terror, knows, knows a victim of terror and fighting terror for many years. Uh, wow. <clears throat> the, the support, the world, world support started by Prime Minister Modi, who tweeted uh, a very supportive tweet. Uh, but I was approached by ministers, by business people, by civil servants, by ordinary Indians, just people wrote to us, you see the social media, we are really, really bombarded with love and support, uh, amazing. Uh, it's not something we take for granted. Uh, and it, you know, I said, I spoke about moral support that we get from India. We, the physical work we know how to do, we need the moral support. Because, you know, the next stage, if we know the Hamas, from the past, the next thing, they will start uh, hiding behind civilian population. Now they have also hostages, Israeli hostages to hi hide behind and to present themselves as the victim. This is always the issue and that's why we will need this very strong support of our Indian friends. And India, again, as a very influential country in the world, as a country who knows terrorism and understands the crisis, uh, it will be very important for us to give us the ability to do what we need to do in order to make sure that Hamas will not be able to uh, continue doing atrocities. Uh, it's clear to us that Iran is involved with it. 
We know for sure about uh, supplying of weapons, uh, training, and we, I will not exclude even organizing or helping organize this specific uh, attack. Uh, there is an attempt now also of Hezbollah to, uh, to heat the northern border in order to, you know, to take the attention of Israel. Uh, it's places where uh, Indian uniformed soldiers are there. I hope they will all be okay. Uh, I hope Hezbollah will not misread us. It will be very costly to Lebanon and to Hezbollah. There was also an attack on Israeli tourists in Alexandria by uh, an Egyptian security person, I understand. I will tell you, this is part of a concept that the Iranians are pushing, of looking at Israel as a spider web, a country or th held by a spider web, because they misread our internal de de debates from time to time as weakness. This is our power. It's not that it's easy to beat us. And you know why we will prevail? We will prevail because we have no other option. I mean, the Jews all over the centuries suffered uh, persecution and killing in many, many countries, not in India, of course. And uh, once we have our own country, we had many, many wars and many, many, many challenges. We always prevailed. And we prevailed because we have no alternative. It's not that we can go to other places. So uh, I'll stop here and